So for much of the world, Europeans in particular, this political cartoon, I think, really captures it, right? Here's Uncle Sam selling stuff. And Europe has a very long shopping list. And basically, they're asking, how's my credit? How much can I borrow from you in order to keep fighting? So if you were to ask a German, a British person, what are the Americans doing in 1914? They would say, fattening their pockets. And, and do not ever forget that the fattening of those pockets comes at the cost of European lives. That American greed and their willingness in particular to sell to anyone could ultimately result in the collapse of European empires, more so than Europeans killing themselves. So to come back to the question that Tom asked many, many weeks ago, how is it that the Germans are always pinned the bad guys? We can see that even as early as 1914, we're starting to vilify the roles of even some neutrals, in this case, the US, that sells indiscriminately. In this political cartoon, we see that there's an image of, of food, of apples in that barrel. And it's important to remember that 1914 was a real boom time for the American economy. Now, like most countries, when the war first began, there's a retraction. People are concerned. They spend a little bit less. You don't have easy access to all the sources you would normally want to purchase, right? The stock exchange was closed in New York just as it had closed in Vienna and London and Paris and Berlin. But once, by December, people start coming out of their caves again, the Americans realize that this war is an amazing boon for their economy. Because if nothing else, while the Europeans are fighting each other, they can't produce things. And the country that produced the best and the most of things, Germany, is especially unable to do so because it's fighting on two, soon to be three fronts. <laughs> 